Well, another game, another loss. This is all Miami Dolphins. This is the way it always is. So, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's great. So, man, if... If you're, if you're a Dolphin fan, you probably shouldn't ever get excited, ever. You should just fucking be like, alright, let's wait till the, the clock hits all zeros, and then we'll get excited. Alright? Because, well, even then, maybe we'll even lose after the game's over. But anyways, so you can't, like, if we're playing good, we have the lead late, you can't get excited. Go, yeah, we're gonna win this. No, you are not gonna win this. You have to wait. You have to be an ostrich with your fucking head in the goddamn ground. Because... <laughs> you might as well not watch the games. I'm just waiting, just waiting. Somebody goes, oh, hey, Ostrich, the Dolphins won. Yes, the Dolphins win. Do not watch the games. Just wait for the end score. Then you won't be upset. You'll just be like, oh, oh fuck, we lost. Oh, that sucks. Or we won. Yes, we won. Don't watch the game because you're going to be sitting there going like this. Yes, look at us. We're up 13 nothing. It's just, it's going, we're going into the second half. Yay, we scored three times. We only scored once. In the fourth quarter, the fourth half, uh, excuse me, the fourth quarter, the fourth half, we only scored once in the second half, and they scored four times. Four times. Well, maybe not four times in the second half, but four, they also scored a, one time in overtime, which is great. So, uh, yeah, um, Tannehill had a pretty good game, two interceptions, which is great, uh, but he's a young quarterback, so you can't pin everything on, on, uh, on him, um, Brian Hartline had a great game. He 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 had two hundred and fifty three receiving yards, which is great. Uh, you know, a dolphin record for for in a game, and he was like one yard away from. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of uh, uh, Tana was one yard away from breaking uh, Cam Newton's single single game receiving yard or uh, passing yards for for. A, uh, rookie quarterback, which sucked that they couldn't pull that off, but that's cool. Uh, he's a rookie quarterback. He did a great job, but come on, dude. We had the game won. We were we were down by seven. Well, I mean, we we're up by seven fucking points. Seven points. <laughs> with with uh, it was a little bit more than three minutes left. The, the play action pass? Are you fucking kid? Play action pass? What are you? I understand that they're probably thinking you're running the ball. Want to know why they're probably thinking you're going to run the ball? Because you have you have the lead. Like in the midway to in their territory, and you're gonna throw the ball? Of course, you're gonna think you're gonna run. Of course. But they would play action pass. Run the ball. Take the time. Punt the ball. Put it deep in their territory. Fields is good. He's a good quarterback. It's a uh, cor uh, punter. It's still Fields, right? I don't remember. I can't even watch the games because I'm fucking goddamn working every fucking day. But, anyways, um, <laughs> why? Why do we throw the ball? Run it! Dude, because, okay, so, Philbin said this about, you know, last week's uh, timeout, because that's what you do. You ice the kicker. That's what you do. You time out. You time out before he kicks the ball. Okay, so going by that logic of what you're supposed to do as a coach, aren't you supposed to play, run the clock down when you have the lead? Run the clock. Don't throw the ball. Don't take any risks. Run the ball. No, he throws it. You're an idiot. You're stupid. Where did goddamn Wonstead at? I want Wonstead. We at least went to the goddamn playoffs with Wonstead. I understand that, that, uh, that the fat man from the, you know, our former fat coach from the New York Jets went to the playoffs once, but that was a fluke. Chad Pennington had won last year. He did it. And then he broke his, uh, I don't know. He broke his, his, his whole body and he died. I don't even know if Pennington's alive. Pennington's still alive. I think something on him broke and he can't live anymore. Anyways, so, and Parcells left. He took the money and run. I'm so glad he didn't go to another team because I would, uh, ugh, I would crucify his ass. But, uh, yeah, so we lost. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's like a goddamn freak show out there. What are we doing? Man. And props to Reggie Bush for, for playing in the game. He ran for 67 yards, um, you know, after the injury last week. So it was nice to see him see him run on the ball. But it's just the coaching staff makes dumb decisions. The whole time during hard knocks, I was like, oh, man, this coaching staff seems like they're on top of things. They're on top of shit. They're taking timeouts, blocking field goals when you take a timeout. You're fucking throwing the ball when you got the lead late in the game. They're not doing anything you're supposed to do. Well, at least Philbin learned... Take a timeout before they hike the ball. Yeah! Like, like five minutes before. Hold time, time, time. You know? Where's Wine Stash at? 
I want to go to the goddamn playoffs every once in a while. At least he went to the playoffs. Oh, man. I can't even remember what's his name's name. What is his name? Sperano, the fist pumper. Field goal. Fuck you. Field goal. I'm going to beat you by fucking field goals. Carpenter's a fucking man. With long blonde hair. So, yeah. That's uh, that's my rant about t uh, Sunday's Dolphins loss, massacre. They're 1-3. and three. They could easily probably be 2-1, and one, but they suck dick. 2-1, and one, excuse me. 3-1, and one, but they suck dick. My office, baby! Woo! Number one! And I'm and I had I fell under the ruse that Miami Dolphins Sunday, let's get excited about the game. Woo! Fuck the game. Ostrich that bitch. Get your head in the ground and wait for somebody to tell you what happens at the end of the game. Don't fucking watch it. I'm done with it. It's like a fucking carnival. You don't know what the fuck's going on. They're fucking they're but they're treating us like we're a bunch of rubes. They're like, oh look, look over here. I can guess your weight, and so it's magic! No, it's not! You stink! You know, you're trying to fucking... Miami Dolphins, baby, get into it. I get emails from Miami Dolphins saying, Oh, they're starting to put it together. They put shit together. It's like, God damn carnival. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm done for the day. That's my rant. If it's going to be a carnival, let's make it a fucking carnival. Let's eat some cotton candy. Let's have a great time. See you next week. Go Dolphins. Win a fucking game, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Heat are coming back, so get excited about that. Go Heat! LeBron James! Yeah! Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Ad Adonis Haslam, uh, uh, he's a University of Florida guy, so you Miami guys, you should watch him. He's fucking Florida Gators, number one. <laughs> How many uh, the basketball championships have you won? Ah!